So one of the biggest problems a lot of people have with Surface Duo and Surface Duo 2 is the lack of wireless charging. A lot of us are used to having these little wireless charging pads strewn about our house. We need to charge our phone. We toss it on there and it charges. And I'm one of those people, you know, coming from the Z Fold 2. My wife has phones like the Pixel 5 and the Z Flip 3 that all support wireless charging. It's really useful just to have these pads laying around everywhere. When you switch back to the Duo or to the Duo 2, you have to leave that wireless charging life behind you and you have to go back to the archaic world of plugging your phone in, which is, you know, not that big of a deal really, but on Surface Duo, you know, maybe you're worried about it cracking your USB-C port, maybe on Duo 2, maybe you're worried about that too. I don't know. At any rate, March of 2021, so earlier this year, I posted a video right here that showed this handy little thing here that you plug into your USB-C port and then it uses adhesive to adhere, as adhesive is wont to do, to the back of your device and it enables wireless charging to that device. Now obviously, the biggest problem here with Surface Duo is that it would prevent Duo from folding all the way around itself. Also, you have to contend with the fact that Surface Duo's USB-C port is way off to the side. So as you can see, I wind up like cutting the edge of this thing off and the eagle-eyed among you may also notice another cut that is in it now for Surface Duo 2. So when we move this thing to Surface Duo 2, obviously you won't need to cut the side of it, but there's a big old camber bump on Surface Duo 2. So I wanted to show you how this thing works on Duo 2. So let's plug it in. Let's flap it all on around there. My, my adhesive is dead, so I have to kind of hold it in place. But you can see there why I made that cut. Good news is there's nothing actually important in the edge of this thing. So you could kind of just easily make that little cut around it. The adhesive will hold it in place. And Bob's your uncle. Everything looks pretty good. And from that point, you've got wireless charging on your Surface Duo 2. If you want to see what this actually looks like in action, instead of actually setting this on there, you won't really be able to see that it's charging. I'm going to bring the pad to the device like so. And you will see that it is charging. It has now stopped charging. Look at that matching color. It's beautiful. Put it back on there again. Vibration and we're charging again. Now, obviously, you're not getting rapid charging. Uh, it just says charging, doesn't say like charging rapidly because it's wireless charging. It's not super duper fast. But I would tell you this, if wireless charging is something that you feel like you absolutely must have on your Surface Duo 2, I would argue that it's actually better on Duo 2 than it was on the original Duo because Duo 2 has that big camera bump. So the problem of folding it around, well, that's not really a problem here because there's already a gap and it doesn't really get in the way of that gap. Now, I will tell you that it does sit in such a way that there is a slight amount of wobble, whereas before Duo 2, it, it magnetically you know, grabs on and it holds. You can see there's just, there's just the tiniest amount of, of dead space there now. But in terms of like using it, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to tell at all that there's anything squeezed in behind this thing at all. I think it's going to act pretty much exactly like it did with the camera bump already being there. So I think this is actually kind of a, a somewhat viable way to go if you have to have wireless charging on your Surface Duo 2. Now, this link will be in the description down below. This thing is going to retail you $13.99. You can see that I bought mine last year in February of 20. 21 and then I made my video after using it for a little while. You're going to want to make sure you get the one with the short uh, stem there, the short version. And like I said before, you're going to have to make a little cut out of it. Just be very careful when you make your cut not to damage anything inside. There is quite a bit. You, you can feel where the important stuff is and you get pretty close in this corner. So just be careful. Uh, make sure nothing is exposed. You know, nothing's exposed in mind. Make sure everything's looking nice and clean. But I think that this is something that you could potentially try to do. And for $13.99, not too big of a deal. Let me know down in the comments if you manage to find a receiver that doesn't require any cutting. I've Googled. I've looked. I couldn't find anything. But if you find something better, please let me know. I will definitely pin that comment. So guys, thanks for making it to the end of this video. Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.